Hello there, Nibblings. I'm Eklanar. And I'm Faye. Let's play Knights of the Old Republic, episode 47. Alright, we are still on Rackert Station. Ah. Oh. Fake door! Really? Finding a lot of those yeah. on this world. Really doing that to us on Manon. Whoa, what's up in here? Whimpering locker? Explain. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. <laughs> wow. Investigate? You're just like the others. Father for the Selkath. Walking fish snacks. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Oh, honey. Yeah. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the <laughs> south part of the base might Lunchy still be alive. But where the culto is, few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. <laughs> wow. Okay. That sure happened. Sure did. What items did you receive? An environmental suit. Oh. Parts. <laughs> Sure. Ooh. Did. Ooh. I guess that's not the one that I blasted the shield on. I guess not. What? Get him. Yes. Um. That hurt, I bet. Let's do. Let's do the Valor. Yeah. And then let's keep blasting it. Yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, T3 are fine doing that. We'll just what? spam this. Why not? Because that thing that looks dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yes? Yeah, that's good. Grenades. Uh, nothing Door. else in here. Sure, there's a lot of airlocks. Oh. Oops. You, you need... did it take any damage, though? Uh, yeah, I think it was like a stun grenade or something. Oh. Scientist memo. Sonic emitter. Is that literally the same thing I found before? Might be. Uh, scientist memo. Yeah, it stacks, so... The same thing. Okay. Um. What? There we go. Yes. I heard I bet. Oh, that. Okay. 
Those sure didn't last long. There's, oh, there's some Republic soldiers there on the ground. Lots of grenades. Do you have anybody that uses grenades? No, not really. Huh. Sure. Oh, hello. That's yeah, I don't think these are going to be much of a challenge. Got a droid there. <laughs> Jedi Master Robe. So, Eklanar is wearing one, right? Yeah. Jolie is wearing a night robe. Okay. Um, I think... Yeah, because it gives a defense bonus of three. I think I want to give that to... Well, I mean, I'll, I'll give it to Jolie right now. But. Need? Sure. Okay. And you need... And we came out of that hallway, right? Yeah. Yes? Is there something over here? No. All right. <laughs> Yes? Okay, so it looks like now we just go down to these southern rooms. Check them out. That droid's still here. Still Kath in there. I'm upset that you have sure. to murder so many people. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't have, like, a good AoE ability, do I? Still don't have the... Oh, I know I have Force Lightning. Alright. Force Lightning time. What? Battle stimulant. Credits. Emergency energy energy projector. I wonder what that is. No, didn't you're standing on a thing I need to... Or maybe not. Okay. Those are some big sharks out there. They're cool. Okay, energy projector. Energy projector. Is that a an item mod? It might have been an item mod. Quest items. Enviro suit. Sonic emitter. Yeah. I think it's an item mod.
Lots of grenades. Sure. Yep. Well, just finding a lot of stuff so sure. far. Uh huh. Oh, hello. Deadly toxins. Never too old for this. Trying to lure him away from that mine. More grenades. Prototype ion blaster. What? It's probably useful. Okay. Again with the grenades. Yep. Alright. Uh, well, it looks like I have explored this whole map. Can I tell him it's safe? Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I walk out and bam! Cell cats swarm in from everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right here in this room. My room. No fishy, fishy for me. And the cell cats went insane. Started I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, no, no, only okay. the one. Uh. Bye bye. Okay, I'll have to come back for him. All right. Well, let's try these pressure doors. Alright, so, it's just me here. Did you put your sonic emitter on? It's right here. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. it's really dark. It is really dark. I can't see anything. It's really dark and you move really slow. This sequence is... A little annoying. Who's there? You're not Cellcast, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane cell calf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The cell calf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, 
It's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Is he moving faster than you? It sure looks like it. Rude. something up here. Okay, well here's a pressure door. Let me see if there's anything in the room. Doesn't look like it. No. I think there's some containers around here somewhere. Welded door? Interesting. Yeah, here's some containers. Frag vines. Is that it? Looks like it. Yeah, there's nowhere to go here. Okay, gotta go back the way I came. So, how's your day been, Eklund? <laughs> it's been all right. Um, got some peppers out of the dehydrator today. Ooh. That, uh, was the last batch to fill up one of my jars. I have three completely full jars of dried peppers now. From this year's harvest. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Eat them. All at once. No, not, not all at once. I was gonna say, that doesn't sound very fun. No, probably not. Especially if they're dry, be all crunchy and hard to chew. Mm. Uh, they're they they fall apart when you crunch them. Yeah, but they would make your mouth dry if you ate whole mouthfuls of them. <laughs> Maybe. Should mix them with your jalapeno sauce. <laughs> right. How's your day going? You've been playing a lot of Minecraft? Yep. That's pretty much all I did today. Aw, oh, fake containers. Real fake containers. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't have a little, a little target circle on it, then you can't interact with it. Yep. Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with- no! ah! <laughs> Whoops. Rip. Well? You gonna use that sonic emitter? I will, yeah. Go. 
It looks like this way leads back into the building that you just came from. Yeah, I, I remember being annoyed at this part based on how slow it is. It's pretty slow. Yeah. Oh, look, I can get in this room. Mmm. I bet this is the welded Whoa. shut door. Yeah. It looks like it. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything to interact with in there, though. Nope, oh, there's oh. a footlocker. Nerve amplifier belt. That sounds fancy. Uh, oh, I already had two of them, but it's fine. I can put them on multiple people if I need to. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. I gotta get ready to use my emitter. Here it comes. Kind of spooky how they just turn upside down and stay there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see what's over here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's over here. I don't really want to walk all the way back over there. This looks like it's where we need to go. Perhaps. No party members. Right. Luckily, I'm a very powerful Jedi. I can take care of myself. Yeah. Run over mines. Oof. Yeah. It's probably going to happen a bit. Force field. Whoa, what? No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Phyraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Whoa, dude. No. No. The Faraxa will get us. No. The Selkath are coming. No. No! No! Ah! Sorry, my mouse is being weird. I... I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I... I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and Sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I... 
I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while, and those strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. My mouse is back. Yay! We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxis shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but. They still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and Sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxin drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kolto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxin shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. 
Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Colto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Colto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. All right. Hmm. What's up here? Another pressure door. Well, uh, I have to end this episode here. Um, Aww. So tune in next time, and I will keep exploring the uh, Rackert Rift. All right. May the force be with you, nibblings.